Hey there, Bruins fans. Welcome back to BNG Hockey, where it's always black and gold. The Boston Bruins win 4-3 over the Vegas Golden Knights to improve their record to 3-0. If you stayed up late for this one, you were in for a real treat. But if not, I'm here to recap it for you. Bruins start this period really well. They are out there flying. They're getting lots of shots on net. I think they look really good. Bruins come into the offensive zone. Fleury comes way out of his net. Brett Ritchie ends up getting knocked into Marc-Andre Fleury. It's goaltender interference. I'm not really sure I agree with the call. I do think Ritchie got pushed into there. He tried to plead his case, but the Bruins are going shorthanded early on in the game. Vegas power play, Cody Glass to Max Pacioretty, Pacioretty to Stone, who scores his second goal of the season, and Vegas now leads 1-0, and they really get energized from this goal. They're getting a lot more chances, a lot more shots, and really ramping up their speed as well. As a result of this newfound Vegas energy, Marcheseau has the puck coming into the zone. He passes through just about every single Bruin on the ice over to Riley Smith who gets his third goal of the season, and it's really sad that the Bruins gave this guy away for Jimmy Hayes. But that aside, now Vegas has a 2-0 lead. Not a good thing for the Boston Bruins. They really need a goal here to get back into this game quick. There's no need to fear. The perfection line is here. Patrice Bergeron with a great steal. Down low to Brad Marchand. Marchand holds, 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 holds. Cross crease over to David Pasternak, who scores his first goal of the season. And now it's only 2-1. This is a great goal by the top line. Seeing them just take over. And when the Bruins need a goal, these guys are here. Five minutes to go. Vegas has the puck in the zone. Shot from the point. Tipped by Jonathan Marcheseau and it's a goal. And just like that all of our momentum is gone. But wait! He tips it way too high. The ref calls no goal right away. So it is still 2-1. Thank God. With just over two minutes to go, Peary takes a slashing penalty for the Knights. Bruins head to the power play. They almost score right off the bat, but Braden McNabb drags it off the goal line. Great play by the big Vegas defenseman who logged some big minutes in this game and hit just about anything that moved. But now on to the actual goal. Tory Krug down low to David Pasternak. Pasternak to where Marchand was when he scored his first goal. Rips it past Marc-Andre Fleury for his second goal to tie it up 2-2. Two to two, And now we're heading to the second. One last thing to note, Matt Grizzlick blocks a shot in this period with his left leg and only plays 35 seconds, but he does come back for the rest of the game, so that's a great sign to show that he only took a period off to help with the stinging and that the injury is nothing too, too serious. 33 seconds into the second period, and we're already getting some action. Pasternak gets the puck in the defensive zone, sends a great indirect pass all the way up the ice to Brad Martian, who gets it. He only has Braden McNabb, but he's on his back. Snaps a shot past Marc-Andre Fleury off the post and in for his third goal of the season, second of the game. And now Boston leads 3-2. Just another great goal from the top line. Pasternak with a beautiful pass. Martian with a beautiful finish. And it energizes the Bruins now. They have the puck in the offensive zone once again shortly after. Backus steals the puck. Gets it to Sean Corrali. Corrali up to Carlo. Carlo over to his D partner, Tori Krug, with a blast for his first goal of the season. Now Boston leads 4-2. Boston has now scored two goals in under three minutes. This is a great sign for the Bruins, but it starts a little bit of chaos for the rest of the period. Starting things off with Backus and McNabb. McNabb nails Backus right in front of the bench. Backus goes over to retaliate by hitting McNabb in the back and ends up getting a penalty. I understand Backus' frustration with McNabb running around a little bit, but you just can't take a penalty. Luckily, the Bruins kill it off. After this, we see another great chance for Vegas. It's a two-on-one with only Connor Clifton. Clifton lies down to break up the play. A Great job by the young defenseman there, keeping the Bruins in the game and keeping that lead of 4-2. to two. We see Pacioretty almost score a goal in this period. He nails it off the inside of the pipe, but the Bruins get some chances too. The Charlie Coyle line in particular, I thought had a great period. I think Coyle's been one of our best players. The stats haven't really been there, but they're going to come soon because he's playing some great hockey. There was one shift where he just kept spinning around and deking around everybody. He had the puck on a string, and it was really fun to watch. I absolutely love this guy. 
We see a chance from Kuhlman with that blazing speed of his that I knew he had but didn't know he had this much where he dumps it in and just blows by a defenseman to get a really good chance. Doesn't end up scoring on it. The Bruins do get outshot in this period. I thought Vegas probably had the edge over the Bruins, but the Bruins definitely got momentum right away scoring two goals and that helped them a lot. Now we head to the third. Two minutes into the period, the Bruins are going on the power play, but they're in their own zone. Looks like Vegas is going to get a good chance here, but Coyle with the diving play this time. Great job breaking up the chance for Vegas. They were a little sloppy on this power play, and you got to watch out because Vegas' penalty kill has some really fast players on it, and they will make you pay. Just the other night, I saw an incredible shorthanded goal with William Carlson just dangling through the zone, gets it over to Riley Smith empty net goal. So you really got to be careful, especially playing Vegas, that you don't get sloppy on your own penalty kill and you still defend when they have the puck. Great job by Coyle. 14 minutes ago, Brad Marchand in on a breakaway for the hat trick. Couldn't get it done. Marc-Andre Fleury with the save. Bruins really took over in this third period. They realized Vegas was getting a little bit more energy at the end of the second. Bruins shut that right down. They outshoot Vegas 7 to nothing halfway through this period. Really good job by the Bees still going and getting chances, even though they have a two-goal lead. With about five and a half minutes to go in this period, Brad Marchand and Braden McNabb battling in front of the net. Pucks going the other way, but McNabb and Marchand continue to push each other. Mar Marshan goes for cross-checking. That's right, only Marshan goes for cross-checking. Now I gotta hand it to McNabb here, he's doing his job. He's playing a good defensive defenseman role, he's hitting people, and he's drawn a couple penalties for his team. He hits Bacchus, Bacchus retaliates, he goes to the box. He pushes Marshan, Marshan pushes back, retaliation, he goes to the box. Braden McNabb gives his team a couple power plays. He's doing his job. But I really just wish that someday Brad Marchand would realize that he's a Stanley Cup champion. He's now had 100 points in this league. He's a premier goal scorer, one of the best all-stars in the game currently. You don't need to waste your time battling with a second pair defenseman. Can you just hang on, take the two-goal lead, and just walk away? But he never can. So now the Bruins are shorthanded late in the game. A stupid penalty almost always results in an immediate goal. The Vegas Golden Knights score right away. It's Max Pacioretty. At least it's not with Montreal anymore, right? But it doesn't help that the Bruins now only have a one goal lead and there's plenty of time in this game with a high powered offense and they're going to pull the goalie and soon. Vegas pulls their goaltender and the Bruins had basically the same five guys out there for the last two minutes of this game. Bergeron, Corrali, Wagner, Carlo, and Chara. These guys did a great job. Vegas didn't get that many shots, but they were passing the puck around a lot, tiring out these basically penalty killers now with the six on five. They did a good job there, but they don't end up scoring. Tukaras does kind of take a shot on the inside of the pad. I'm not sure if it wasn't fully covered there, if he took it around like the hip area, because he goes to stand up to celebrate with his teammates, falls right back down, and then they had to help him off the ice, and he's kind of shaking his left leg. So let's hope he just took a shot in a weird spot and it was stinging a little bit. I haven't seen any injury news on Rask after that. So if he's okay, I'm okay. And the Bruins grab the win four to three. It was a lot closer than it needed to be, but Vegas is a great team. Boston's a great team. This was a fun game to watch. And now it's time for my three stars of the game. For my third star, I went with defenseman Tori Krug. He had a goal, an assist, couple blocked shots, played over 21 minutes of time on ice. I thought he played really solid in his own end against a big physical team in the Golden Knights. I am loving that deep pair of Carlo and Krug, especially with Carlo getting a little more involved on the offensive end. It's making it a really dynamic duo. So Tori Krug's your third star. This guy could have easily been my number one star of the game. So we can call it the number two star. Or we can call it the second number one star David Pasternak he has a goal two assists he had six shots on net and played over 19 minutes of time on ice that's more than Bergeron and Marchand which is impressive you don't see that a lot from Pasternak I wanted him to shoot the puck this year and he did in this game and it results in a goal so great job by Pasta keep getting those shots on net keep up that pressure and keep making great plays like you did with that indirect pass to Brad Marchand really impressive stuff from Pasta in this game now for my other number one star, Brad Marchand. He had two goals, an assist, three shots, and played just about 18 minutes of time on ice. Marchand scored some really big goals for the Bruins in this game. Hopefully he keeps that up and has another 100-point season. That's all I got for you in this one. If the Bruins want to battle for Lord Stanley's Cup once again, don't be surprised if you have to play the Vegas Golden Knights. This team is legit.
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big like, and if you haven't already, subscribe. <laughs>